Hi, I'm Kenny White. I'm the Shakopee Campus Pastor, and I want to talk to you a little bit about preparation for worship on Sundays. Sunday is that opportunity where we get to gather and worship the living God, the one who loved us enough to give his son that we could have life. Sunday is a special time where we get the opportunity to worship with music. It's also a time where we hear the word of God and we celebrate the risen Christ. But it also takes a little bit of preparation. I, I recognize as a father of seven how many times that Cindy and I uh, would, would show up to church and just be kind of like exhausted because there, there were kids who they couldn't find their shoes in the morning and we couldn't find their Bibles. And, and then a couple of kids were kind of arguing and Cindy and I were frustrated. And when we finally got to church, it was like, okay, we're here. And I forgot to engage. And it can happen that way. And so I, I want to just give some practical steps that may be helpful for you as it has been helpful for me in preparation for worship on Sundays. So one of the things that I would encourage you with is to make Saturday night a holy time for your family, for yourself. And that may be a time where you sit down and you can read the scriptures together. Uh, you may want to look at some passages that we'll be talking about on Sunday. That is a great way to prepare your mind and heart. If you're unsure about what we'll be preaching, another thing that you could do is, is just go to the Psalms and start reading, and you'll get to see how David loved the Lord and how David worshiped the Lord with his heart. And, and you may be preparing your heart in similar fashion. Additionally, you may wanna just encourage your family to say, hey, lay out your clothes as an act of worship, as an act of preparation, you can engage by laying out your clothes for tomorrow, for Sunday morning. You may want to set some times for your family. Hey, for us to be there, we're, we're going to leave together at this time. Those are some practical steps that you can take. Those are some things that as we have done those in our family, uh, it's been a blessing. We were able to show up on Sunday refreshed and ready to worship God together. We don't want you to miss out on anything. I don't want to miss out on anything. And one of the ways that we can go about that is preparing our hearts for worship. I want to thank you for engaging. I want to thank you for making friendship a part of your life, a part of your sacrifice, a, a, a part of your friendship. And I want to encourage you in these days as we walk this together to watch and see what God will do. We get to worship together at 9 and 1045 on both campuses, and I hope to see you on Sunday.